So one of the most common calls I get to veterinary office is, Dr. Dan and my dog ate chocolate, what do I need to do? Hi guys, my name is Dan and I'm a veterinarian and today we're going to go over how serious it is if a dog eats chocolate. On today's video, I'm going to cover the different types of chocolate and how serious they are, what symptoms a pet owner may notice if their dog eats chocolate, going from mild to more serious, and how the veterinarian is going to treat the dog that just ate chocolate. Chocolate has two chemicals in it that can be really serious for dogs. One is theobromide and the other one is caffeine. Both of these chemicals can come in different amounts for different chocolates. So I'm going to break it up into three groupings. You have your white chocolate, your milk chocolate, which is, let's be honest guys, milk chocolate is probably the best chocolate. And then you have your dark chocolate, which my wife loves. So the, the white chocolate is really not too serious at all. It has very little theobromide in it and caffeine in it. The milk chocolate is medium, and the dark chocolate is, and the baker's chocolate, the cocos, that's when it starts getting pretty darn serious. Now, why is it that the theobromide, you know, the caffeine is more serious in dogs compared to humans? It's because doggies don't metabolize it very quickly, so it lingers in the body longer, causing problems. In the more mild cases, the pet owner will notice a doggy may be more active, easily agitated, and they may have some intestinal upset, like diarrhea or vomiting. So the medium cases are going to be cardiovascular. So a pet owner will notice an increased blood pressure, maybe an increased heart rate, and it may be a cardiac arrhythmia caused by the chocolate. And then that leads us into the really scary cases, the, the really high risk cases where you have, you know, seizures, tremors, and possibly acute cardiac arrest. The pet owner should always call the veterinarian right away. The veterinarian will usually do a little bit of math. They'll figure out how big the dog is, what kind of chocolate, and they may even do it over the phone to give us an idea of how serious it is. Pet owners can also call the Pet Poison Helpline. Now, when the pet owner rolls into the veterinary office, what will the veterinarian do? The veterinarian will do a handful of things. Most commonly, they will decontaminate the doggy. That includes making the doggy throw up, because if we can't metabolize the theobromine, the caffeine, very well, we want to get it out of the body. So, making the doggy throw up at the veterinary clinic is a great idea. Also, they may give some activated charcoal, which may bind up some of the chocolate so it won't be absorbed as well. If the doggy throws it up, or if it's bound up by the charcoal, it can't be absorbed by the dog. So we stop the toxic chocolate from entering the body. Depending on the symptoms, a veterinarian may also give IV fluids to help flush out or dilute out the system, the dog's body, from the chocolate. They may even do other meds that may help with heart-related issues or tremors or anything more serious. Now, if it's really serious, the veterinarian may provide some additional services to make sure that we're comfortable and we will relax, especially if we're noticing things like seizures or cardiac arrhythmias. With veterinary care, in most cases, Chocolate toxicity can be handled beautifully. As veterinarians, we see it all the time, and we are skilled in that area to fix problems like this. So go see the veterinarian, get your doggy fixed up. They probably love the chocolate, but keep it up next time. This one time I was working overnight, and we had a dog with chocolate toxicity, or ate some chocolate, and we made the dog throw up. The dog did great, but when it threw up, like there was so much chocolate, and not gonna lie, it smelled like a candy store in there. And all night long, even no matter like what dogs pooped or peed or whoever was super sick, it smelled like a candy store. Like, it smelled beautiful. Gross, but beautiful. 